Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. So it's a little dark right now because I'm in my car. <clears throat> but but I have to run to the grocery store, so I thought that I might as well take you with me. Just for like going on. And before anyone has any questions, um I bought a mount so that I could put my phone on the mirror when I in the bathroom. Like I was gonna do a hair video, but the sticky, like the adhesive to this, is so sticky that it. That when you put it on, I don't think you were actually supposed to take it off. So I decided that I would probably not use it for that. And then I just thought to myself, I should put it in the car. But when I'm driving, I'm not looking at the phone. So I'm like just driving like normal and it's just there recording me. So if anyone feels like, oh, what are you doing? No, I'm not doing anything dangerous. I won't look at it or touch it until I'm no longer driving. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to the grocery store real quick to grab a couple of things. So I thought that I would bring my Michael Kors snakeskin Mercer. I really like this bag. I love it. I thought I would be scared to use it and baby it, but honestly, I'm neither of those things are true. And I just really love it. It's especially because I have so many Mercers already that like because the Michael Kors Mercer as far as handbags and handbag styles go, it's my favorite handbag. Like, I think if I could only carry one handbag for the rest of my life, one type, because it has a variation of sizes, I think that I would, gloves, I think that I would use the Michael Kors Mercer. <clears throat> and this bag right here, it's just a square. Um, it has no opening. Like, or it does have an opening. It has no zippers or anything in the opening. And I guess I should say the Mercer tote because Mercer is a, like a, it's a line of Michael Gore's handbags, if I'm not mistaken, because I have like four different bags and they are all called a Mercer. I'm always scared someone's gonna be walking right here. Or driving. So yeah, I think that the Mercer would be my favorite bag if I, like the bag, if I could only choose one type, one, one designer and one uh, model of bag, right? But I won't lie, it gets kind of old. Um, I don't know that I have a Mercer in Safiano leather, which is like the, I can't really describe it, but it's like the least leathery of leather. It's like the most processed leather, it seems. Um, I have a lot of bags in Sapiano, but not that. I do have a whole bunch of Mercers in pebbled leather. And I think that's honestly the only texture that I have as far as the leather type that my Mercers are. But I saw that snake one and I got it, I, I got it for like 75 or $80, $80. Because I remember I made an offer on it because I had been drinking wine. And I was like, if they, if they make a, if they accept your offer or even entertain you, then, you know, at that point I would, discuss with my husband whether or not I should be buying a bag at that moment, right? So I did and they accepted it and I was like, oh, so I'm getting this because it's snakeskin. I've seen them at the store and I should have bought them at the store, but I wasn't sure because snakeskin kind of made me uncomfortable. But I like it now. There's another one in black. Now, for my first snakeskin Mercer, I wouldn't have purchased the black one because it was jet black so it kind of 
because it was so black it kind of took away from like how beautiful the skin really was and on the red one that I have it allows you to see the the color variations which I personally am a fan of and as you see I'm already at the grocery store And then I just got that Henry Bendel bag in the mail. Now that was more expensive as far as bag goes, bags go for me. But the reason why I bought it is because Henry Bendel is no more. And also because it was literally one of my dream bags that I figured I would never be able to get anymore. And when I saw it with it's like the you've seen it it's like the brush of the aged silver hardware and personally like i understand well for me personally i feel like gold hardware on a bag like this and all this gold i feel like it's cool but it's really like at at the good age that I am now, 33, carrying a bag with gold hardware like that doesn't necessarily seem too weird. But when I was in my 20s, gold hardware felt very like granny to me. And I wasn't always sure that I was aged enough, seasoned enough, matured enough as a person to be walking around with gold hardware on all of my bags. And when it comes to bags like the Chanel boy bags and flat bags, which the Henry Bendel camera bag and the Henry Bendel um, 712 flat bag, those are paying homage to a Chanel bag because Henry Bendel and Coco Chanel were best friends. And after she came to America with him, um, he decided when he blew up and really got on everything that he would always have a bag that paid homage to her. So in the Chanel bags with the gold hardware, even now today, it's really easy in my opinion for them to be too much. Like <clears throat> I could, I love, I love them, but sometimes I think to myself and it's like, you know, would you, really like want to go oh my nose is just but i just left my house so i guess it doesn't matter um would you really want to carry like in this albertson's a chanel bag with the big gold tees i don't know but when i see them with like the uh the black metal i don't know what it's called or when i see them with like the silver or the brush silver it seems to me like personally i'd be able to pull it off with taking it somewhere that's like a grocery store, but also I feel like I'd be able to take it somewhere like something classy, like a you know an, an event, and I would also feel good because gold hardware automatically makes things seem. This lady really did that. Gold hardware automatically makes things seem more classy, right? Silver hardware doesn't, in my opinion. And so I could be carrying a bag, especially like a nice bag, like a Chanel bag. You could be carrying that anywhere and you don't need the gold hardware to feel special. But I feel like if I carry gold hardware on a bag everywhere I go, it feels special. But I mean, this is coming from someone who is taking a snakeskin and gold hardware handbag to the grocery store at 7 a.m. So, I mean, you have to really like consider your sources. I really do think that people have to remember that. You have to consider your sources. Putting these on, I don't know if it's my hair, if it's just me or what, but it is so difficult. And then I saw a girl do it like this and I was like, oh, okay. But anyways, I'm about to run into this grocery store. 
when I get, there's a stain on my mask and it's new, so I don't know what this is. Damn. Okay, so I'm not going to this grocery store. When I get done, I will come back and let you know how that went. A few moments later. Ooh. Hey. Okay. So, I went to the grocery store. It was pretty easy. My hands are disgusting. Question. Do any of you have... <coughs> hand sanitizer that you've purchased since this pandemic started only to notice that it smells like well tequila because I smell this hand sanitizer sometimes not this one this one actually smells really good I smell these hand sanitizers sometimes and I'm like oh this smells like this smells like tw being 18 and getting snuck into bars and like being given cheap ass alcohol I don't like it. This smells like YSL Paris perfume. It also leaves like this weird stuff all over my hand, but I don't know if that's because I was wearing lotion. And because I'm always wearing lotion, I have yet to find out if that's really the case. Oof. Yowza. So, you want to know what I'm obsessed with now? I know my husband has to be so thankful because it's actually a cheap obsession. So, like a while ago, my mom asked me if I could sell some coach bags for her. And I went online to sell them and people were like, I'll pay you 15 bucks for both of them with shipping. Girl, that's, I'll just keep them, right? So then I decided to donate them. Which was fine because they were not bags that were styles that I would ever consider carrying. They were my mom's style for back like 20 years ago. So I, she also gave me like a coin purse and a clay, like the little, the coach, um, I think it's called Jacquard. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Jacquard. It is um, like the coin purse and the little key holder. Oh, I should have went around. And I kept those. And I'm constantly seeing people carrying um, vintage Fendi baguettes. And I really want one, but I'm not paying money for vintage Fendi baguette. Like, it's not happening. So. I saw a coach one in that vintage canvas that I have and I looked at it and then I didn't do anything else. I didn't favorite it on eBay. I didn't anything. Now I'm assuming that they probably have like an option as a seller and that you can reach out to everyone that's looked at your item within like however long so I looked at it once I did not put it in a I didn't favor it or anything and they made an offer to me for it for like I don't know 20 bucks or something like that and I decided that I would try to be slick and I'm like well can I get it for 11 and they said yes so I bought this and it's real I know it is I bought this vintage coach bag for $11 and it looks like a, it looks like a baguette, which if you don't know what a baguette bag looks like, I can show you because that's why I'm here, but I'm kind of excited about that. I have all of these texting and driving, bitch. I have all of these bags that I have that I love and the way I use bags is I like I'm taking this bag to the grocery store I doubt that I'll leave my house again but let's just say that I left again for lunch like to go pick some up I would pack a completely different bag and I would use that bag to go do that 
Oh, this lady has her cute dogs. They kind of look like my friend's dog, Kamali, but they're gray. Hi. And so, um, like, I have some, like, little crossbodies and other stuff that I would like to use so bad. Hello. Girl, I'm always terrified to come into the alley at certain times of the day and like right now I know people are leaving and as soon as I was pulling in someone just pulled out. It scares me. But I'm so excited about this bag. This little baguette. And plus I just let's be real, I like to say baguette. Like who doesn't? I wish you could see the way the sunlight was like coming through these leaves over here. It's so beautiful. And now I'm back home. Whoa. Oh, you know what else? I'm supposed to drive all the way down to Louisville today to get my dog's medication. I'll switch my bag for that also. Last time they forgot to charge me for his medication, which is pricey. It's the price of a couple bags. And she was like, I'm gonna, cause it's curbside. And so they call you and you give them your credit card number and then they come out with the medicine. She's like, it's taking too long for us to get the phone. It's taking too long for us to get you charged. So we'll just wait and charge you later. And we'll call you later today. I said, okay. But she never called back. And it's been like over a month. So I called to get a prescription. And they're like, well, you have a balance. And I was like, how do I have a balance? Like, it doesn't work. And then I was like, oh, and immediately I realized, so now this medicine's gonna cost so much money because he's already technically consumed half of what he paid for. See, I use a different mask every time I go to the store. I don't play that. I feel like that's the best way. And you wash these. I do use uh, disposable gloves, but like, what do you want from me? And do you think I could use cloth gloves? Because I have some cloth gloves that I actually bought. I just didn't think that they would actually work. Let me know. 12 seconds later. Do you think that I could use cloth gloves? Because I have some and I would. I totally would. Also, I want one of those stabilizing handheld things that you get so that you can vlog. And I need you to tell me if you know of a good brand or model, will you share that with me? Because I, they're kind of pricey and I'm not really sure what to do. Also, my teeth. And this is the stabilizing iPhone holder that I was just referring to. A few moments later. All right, all right. <clears throat> all right, all right. So I just finished the groceries. I walked the dogs. I made them breakfast. And I watered the front and the back lawn. And it's 8.30 a.m. I'm on track. Eventually... Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Okay. So I just left the vet and I went to get my dog's medication and I got it. So when I got there, she reminded me that I didn't pay last time because she forgot to call me back to charge me. She was like, you just take it and leave. We're busy when you, I'll call you later today and you can pay me for it. And I was like, that's fine. So she reminded me today that I didn't do that. So I had to pay double, which rightfully so. Then as I was leaving, I was in like the patient drop off. It's kind of like a, like a little circular driveway. So as I'm leaving there, the lady throws the stuff in the window and that's great. And there's a truck that's behind me and they're trying to get into the state, like the area where I am. And I thought he was driving around me. So I, um, yes, I did cleanse my hands, even though I did not have any contact with anybody. 
So I went to leave and I pulled out and I just like ate the curb and I had to get out of the car and check it to make sure that I didn't ruin anything. Lucky for me, I didn't ruin anything. But this is just another part of the car chronicles. Well, let's see what happens next. A few moments later. Hey everyone, so I took a shower and just washed up after going out and running a couple errands and now I am about to run my very last errand of the day. I don't even have to get out of the car for this one. On this trip, I am taking my Henry Bendel 712 camera bag. I absolutely love this bag. It is really, really, really good to me. I love it a lot. I love the strap, the versatility. I just love everything about it. So I'm going to be carrying that. <clears throat> and I am going to go ahead and come clean with you kids today. So today, I, um, ooh, today I went to go get my dog's prescription. From his vet and after I did that I was pretty close to the house or not to the house I was pretty close to Grapevine Mills so I decided that like I haven't gone anywhere or done anything since March 17th so I decided that I would roll by and I would look and see if maybe it kind of felt like it would be cool to excuse me, we to go in. So I rolled by and I immediately realized that there's no cars there. So I decided to go in and for full disclosure, the reason why I was going is because I've purchased um, just like a couple handbags since March. And a couple of them were handbags that I ordered from Michael Kors. And then one of them was actually a Michael Kors handbag that I ordered from eBay. And they didn't give me dust covers with them. So, you know, that's annoying. And I asked if there was like any way that I could buy some dust covers from them and they said yes. So I went in and bought a large dust cover from my Michael Kors medium, to, uh, medium duffel that I have. And then I also bought two small ones because I have two small bags. I don't know what they are. What are these people doing? I don't know what they are, but I needed to I just almost ran over somebody, and not even ran over them, but these people were walking in the middle of the road just now. And I'm trying to figure out why. But I um, got the two smaller bags, dust covers, because I knew that I had two smaller handbags that also needed a dust cover. I just couldn't remember what they were. So after that, I went to go look at Coach, which the Michael Kors store had one other shopper um, and I paid with Apple Pay, so it was pretty much a contactless situation. And then the other, the things you see when you're driving in the daytime. Then the other, um, when I went to coach, there was literally like, two guys shopping in one section and like three people shopping in another section and we all had on masks and just avoided each other. And then I went to Le Neiman Marcus last call and I didn't realize that they are going out of business. So they had crazy sales. It was like 80% <clears throat> off on stuff. I went online after I told my husband because he slipped up and was like, yeah, they're going out of business, so they probably have a lot of sales. And I went back and looked and they had like a, they had a Zach Posen and it was on sale and it was like a hundred, 
well it was like three hundred dollars originally but it was the, all the way down to 89 bucks and i really wanted it because that frozen is no longer in business but it's a tiny 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 bag and then when you really like get down to the, the nitty gritty of it it's like it's the kind of bag where the straps like there's a hole from the bag and the strap is a chain like this and at the end of the chain is just like a little t so you're supposed to just put it through a hole in the bag and the little t is supposed to just catch but if you've ever had a bag like that you might know sometimes those little pieces come out and this like strap will slip out of the bag and then you are screwed so and that kind of feels cheap so i ended up not getting it um let me think what else i saw while i was out there i went to puma there was nobody there and i bought a black hat because i've been wearing hats lately um just like when i'm running errands and stuff especially if i get up early and i go to the grocery store like seven in the morning i'm not necessarily trying to take a shower and fix my hair and everything just to do that so i've been wearing hats and i got a texas ranger hat at a game a couple years ago literally because i was at the game and needed a hat and it's like an it's like a, a faded green like a faded army green so i don't necessarily like to use it every time and i bought another hat when lady gaga released her chromatica album but I ordered the hat with a copy, a signed copy of her album. So that got deleted. Not deleted, I lied. It didn't get deleted, no. It got delayed. And so I've been waiting forever for this damn hat and this signed copy of her album. And it hasn't come in yet, which is slightly annoying. Hold on, I'll be right back. 12 seconds later. Okay. Sorry, I just had to do one last errand, catch some gas. And now I'm going home. So, girl, yeah, I don't know. I went... I told myself because like unfortunately and I, I try not to talk about politics unless I'm talking about politics but unfortunately because you know our political leaders our civic leaders our um, just all of the leadership that we're supposed to have in government whether that's local state or federal they can't be trusted and if I don't get clear answers, then I'll do what I think is best. And that so far, that has just been to stay at home and to trust my best judgment with everything. So today I trusted my best judgment and I felt like it wasn't wildly dangerous to just hop into Grapevine Mills after seeing how empty it was. And I'm glad I went. I mean, honestly, I've been on quarantine for so long and I think that it's just definitely eaten away at my mental health. I apologize. It's the car ahead of me. <clears throat> it's definitely eaten away at my mental health. So, and even though I'm still in a good space and I'm still, you know, I don't want to say winning, but I'm still doing well, you know, like I'm still able to to make ends meet as far as getting through things on a on a mental level and an emotional level every day and I'm able to you know use my neighbor's pool and I'm able to take a nap in the day and not have to stress about how much money I'm spending at the grocery store <sighs> part of me and all that and I think that that definitely has made it easier for me to deal with the times. 
But it still, with that said, has taken a toll on my mental and emotional health, not being able to do life in the way that I was doing it before. So today was kind of nice. It was, you know, just like a little taste of what's in the future if everyone behaves. I will say that I only saw one or two people at Grapevine Mills with no mask on. And they, I'm sorry to say it, but they seemed like a real white trash couple. And uh, they were mean mugging me and everyone else around them like, you ever see people doing something that they shouldn't be doing and then they walk around with this like attitude of like, what, what, what you gotta say? What's on your mind? And it's like, I'm, I don't really want anything from you. In fact, I'd like you to give me 12 feet, not six, except here you are looking guilty as all get out because you know that what you're doing is wrong and stupid and you're trying to prove a point, I guess. And it's like, whatever. So I just got away from them. Um, after that, I left and I came home and it's, I don't know, just been chill. I would like to be able to go to North Park, but like, I just don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. It doesn't seem like it is actually a thing. The person in front of me is driving like four miles an hour. What is going on? Okay, so I'm driving in my neighborhood and this person is driving 10 miles an hour down my street and I'm absolutely confused as to why. She back there driving like seven miles an hour. I don't understand. Anyways, I will tell you this. <clears throat> Coach Outlet just um, restocked on their face masks. So I bought a face mask. It was 18 bucks. And all of my other face masks have been far cheaper than that. But it's really cute, and they have this little character that they put on a lot of their stuff called Rexy, and they had Rexy on it, so I was like, I'll get it. Um, I also saw there were some really cute Coach loafers, and I wanted some, but they were still like 160, which I'm not trying to do that. And then. The funny thing is, their price dropped down to $60, and I was going to go get some, but it was only in a size men's 7, and are you a man if you wear a 7? Like, I feel like you're a child still. So I just was like, I don't know, it was all too much, so I didn't get it. I also saw the cutest pink bag today. It was a coach bag, 1941, I believe, and it was just like cute little tiny bag that had fringe on it and it had these flowers and they were like this like resin material or plastic or something it was really cute I would never carry it but I would put it like if I had glass shelves in my uh, bag room then I would here's another If I had glass shelves in my bag room, then I would probably be, I would, I think that I could see myself buying more bags and like just having them in there just because I want to look at them as like a museum piece, if that makes any sense. Alas, I'm home, so I gotta go. Thank you very much for joining me on my very first Car Kiki chat. Ask me questions, tell me what you would like to discuss. Let's go.